It looks like a basketball to me. <laughs> I went all in on this one. It was gonna be hidden. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yes! Hi everyone, welcome back to Blueprint DIY. It's 2023 and you know what that means. We are doing part two of our Making My Dream Pinterest Wardrobe series. And you guys gave me so much inspiration in the last video where I made this coat out of a denim jacket and a puffer jacket and oh, the love for this. I'm just so just floored by how much you love it. So I just wanna say thank you. And you guys gave me so much inspiration when I asked you guys if I should make a bag out of the rest of the puffer cup. All right, so let's talk about my Pinterest inspiration. So many things have inspired me. If you check out my handbag board, uh, it is so good. But just three things that I'm gonna talk about that inspire this bag. Just a basic tote, a basic puffy tote. I am in love with them right now. But then also this knotted detail. Um, I've seen it on several bags that I just really, really love. So I wanted to incorporate that as well as the shape, like this slouchy shape. We all know like the crescent moon shaped or hobo bag is in it's not going anywhere as of yet but not only the crescent shape you can see all types of shapes i love this super slouchy bendable foldable idea of a bag so uh, let's see where all of these ideas take us i guarantee you don't want to miss it i went all in on this one guys i'm telling you i went all in you're gonna love absolutely love it absolutely love the styling at the end so definitely stay tuned to the end what i want to do with this because <laughs> since we decided to do more like a crescent moon or hobo bag i am i need to cut two half circles and here's also the other stuff i have to work with i did have a jacket and i pulled the zipper off of there and i also have another zipper from another jacket since this one is going to be for the bottom curved side i'm going to use this as a guide for the length of the bottom since i have these holes on the arms i'm going to definitely use this side as much as possible because you know it can't be square so i don't want to use that for anything square so i'm going to come down here with my adjustable curve ruler take a curve it's not an exact science so don't let this get you nervous it just is bigger than my zipper because I want to use all of my zipper. All right, so I'm going to cut a curve, half curve from here around, and I'm going to cut the same curve on the opposite side. All right, so we have this piece that then we can cut down the middle. Well, actually, before I cut this down the middle, I do want this bag to have more lines. That did not connect very well. <laughs> that one just won't act right. But I'm gonna mark this up and then I'm just gonna go do a top stitch. My measuring system might have failed me, but my keen eye did not. So what I did with this is, so like the sections were like from here to here. What I did was just do halves. I did mark it, but you can, you guys saw that the marks were coming out real wonky. So since that failed me, what I decided to do was just do half. So I did the middle first, and then I did in between those two, because one thing I can do is I can estimate the middle between two straight lines. So um, it came out pretty good, can't complain. So now I just need to go ahead and cut this apart. And then I'm gonna go ahead and serge all of the edges. Um, if you want to add a lining, um, you can do that, you won't have to serge. But then also if you wanna do this and not add a lining, you can add seam binding. So far we have two circles. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, this is taking longer than I thought it was gonna take, but we are going to do it. I am going to try to put some piping. I wanna sew this first, cause I, it has to be right. So I'm gonna sew this to this first and then sew the zipper to it. I just have it lined up with the edge and then I wanna sew it right on and the edge of this piping right where this seam is right here. All right, I'm just gonna use a regular foot for this. I know there is a such thing as a cording foot, but hindsight is 2020. When you're looking for a sewing machine, make sure you buy one that doesn't have to have special feet for everything. That's actually one of my only complaints about this sewing machine. I'm just gonna use a regular foot. 
I'm gonna set it down right against that seam right there, the needle down, and I'm gonna sew right here as much as possible. Come on, don't stay, stay, you're doing good. Ah. Be patient. Be patient. We got this. Mm. Don't tell me what we can't do. It's not. It's not horrible, especially when you turn it up. Yay, piping! All right. So for all y'all who was saying that I said I was gonna do it, I I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All we have to do now is fold these both under and just top stitch the zipper to it. Yay, we added a little, a little, little detail. All right, for this portion, we are basically going to stitch in the ditch. All I did, I'm looking for where this is, lining the zipper up how I want it to be, and we're just going to do our best to stay in between the orange fabric and the piping. All right, I thought we weren't gonna have to use a zipper foot, but I am. Ah! I don't like how the zipper is coming out of line, so. All right, aren't you glad I endured the torture so you don't have to? I discovered a better way to do that. Um, yeah. I thought stitching in the ditch was the best way. That was not. You can tell by how many strings I have, how many times I had to take it apart and do it again. So I'm gonna show you now, I won't say the right way to do it, but the easiest way that I found to do it. A lot of people do use like some type of tape to tape down their zipper in place. Um, I think it's called zipper tape actually. Some people have tried uh, like a uh, glue stick I know that some people have been successful with that, but with this being puffy material, I wasn't even gonna try that. So I'm gonna get the other side of the zipper and put it back on, all right, to make sure that this zipper is lined up. And then I am going to go ahead and lay this flat and pin it in place. And once I pin it in place, I can go ahead and sew it just like this. All I did was from wherever I started, I saw how much white I have exposed and I just tried to keep exposing that amount of white, which is the binding tape. And once I opened it up, you can see it's pretty even. All right, so now we need to add some little end pieces. So I just cut a piece of scrap from last week and I'm also going to cut this in half again and serge it. And then I am going to take a piece of the piping and sew it to the end. And there we have that. So now I can go in and add this underneath the seam. I used a seam ripper, took apart the end of it. I'm gonna add that to the end. After that, I can cut the zipper. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. Like I said, we are doing this dream Pinterest wardrobe series as well as I have other series where I share my inspiration from runway shows that's coming up in February. Um, all these things, basic tutorials, all the way up to the most epic, amazing tutorials ever. So hit that subscribe button. And if you are a subscriber, definitely consider becoming a member. We have a blast in my members only group. Hit that join button down below to learn more. All right. That's to the video. I want a hidden piece that can be exposed or not exposed whenever I like. These are the arms from the jacket last week. All right, so I am just going to use this. It doesn't need to be super wide. It just needs to be long. And so I'm just gonna cut away the flat fail seam. And then we just need like a 10 inch piece on the, in the middle. All right, so now I just gotta connect these so that the grain looks pretty consistent through here. All right, so here we are. We have a longer piece, which is what we needed. It's more than 35, which is what we needed. So now I'm gonna fold it in half and cut like a football-like shape. All right, and that's what that gets me, and that's the shape that I need. And then we need some graphic. 
and you know what that means. That means the cricket. I also went ahead and added the piping to the edge. At the beginning, I wasn't gonna do the piping along the bottom edges, just along the top, but I decided to go ahead and do it. This needs to be the length of the zipper. So I was able to cut some off at the top and I trimmed it a little bit this way. I didn't cut anything off at this side because I need some extra just in case, but it just needs to be the length of the zipper. So we need to start adding the pieces in. I have my little cap pieces, this one for this side, that one for that side. But before we go on, I did add some seam binding to the inside of the zipper because when I unzip it and put my hand inside because the bag is going to be like this you can see you were able to see this edge here and i didn't like it so now it's nice and fresh so i'm happy with that and i only had to do it once so <laughs> i'm also happy with that so let's go ahead and start layering this the way i figure out how everything should be layered as far as zippers and stuff is concerned is I put it how it's supposed to be. So like this is gonna be like this, fold it over. This is gonna be underneath. Then of course this is underneath everything. And the zipper is going to be here. All right, so now that I can visually see the layers and how they're gonna be, now all I have to do is hold it in place or you can pin it and then just fold it over. And then that, lets me know what order everything should be in. So since this is on top, I'm gonna to take this one off. I'll sew that up in last. I also need to serge those edges. All right, now we can go sew that down. All right, so now we got one whole side of this zipper attached. It looks like a basketball to me. <laughs> whole side done, so now, we need to attach the other side. So we want this, you know, like straight up and down and just line this up. So now that we have that side so that this is even, now I can reach in and open the zip so that I can do this without a whole lot of hassle. And then once again, I'll line up the inside of the zipper teeth with the piping and just go ahead and sew this down. All right, so the last thing I need to do is just line this piece up, make sure it's facing the right direction, line this piece up with the edge of the zipper and go ahead and sew it along the edge. All right, that was not nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. We have a little detail there and it folds back in real nice and quick. Now I just need to add handles. Take out this piece, just cut it straight. All right, now we need to cut this piece in half. And all I'm gonna do is fold it like this and serge it closed. All right, we are in the final stretch. Um, here are the tubes. I'm not gonna lie, it did take me a long time to get these turned, but I end up using a bodkin at the end of it and that worked pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it right side out. Here you can see what it looks like on the inside. I do want to go ahead and add some seam binding on this edge right here, but I'm not gonna do that right now because I need to go ahead and get the look part of this done. We're running out of time. I need to just find the hole, put this through. I'm gonna go to the sail right and sew that closed and then we will be done. are pushing me to the limit. You can see that I finally both did piping and seam binding in one video. I know, I know, I don't know what came over me. And I was on a deadline, like a really, really tight deadline. I had to do this whole thing in one day. Only thing is, is the next day I had to put on the handle because I just ran out of time. Um, but yes, I love this. And I want you to see that, yes, it does match the jacket. Going off to different places, different planets 
But your aura passed me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty-handed But I typically don't like to be so matchy-matchy, so here's another look You like the fast life You like to drive and get down and dirty You act like the bad guy You want some love, you like when you feel like calling me yes i did finally find some puffy pants um these are military pants i found them at the thrift store for i think nine dollars super excited that i found those this is the exact silhouette i wanted amazing color so i'm happy with those they go amazing with this purse the bag the boots so next time we will be doing some pants i'm not going to say exactly what type of pants but if you are looking at this collection you've seen the jacket you've seen the bag what type of pants do you think i should do let me know in the comments below i kind of have a little bit of a design based on my pinterest board i'll give you the pictures of some of the pants that i have on my board you can let me know if you think i should do something completely different like i said this is not the end i have a whole host of other things planned that you guys have have let me know that you want to see so i'm super excited about that definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing and if you've made it to this point of the video i just want to say thank you so much for watching all the way to the end love and hugs and the best of wishes for an amazing 2023 for you all right i'll see you in the next one bye